But this is my cheat sheet for Friday, February the 17th. Is an electronic device your new babysitter? I guess it was only a matter of time before a, a majority of American parents actually turned to the tablet or smartphone to end up, end up uh, keeping the kids entertained under the age of five. 55% of all parents in this country now say that they help supplement their babysitting with electronic devices. Now, we've had research before that showed children under the age of two actually can have their developmental growth stunted by electronic devices as they can't process at quite that level. But nevertheless, in the era of tablets especially, the e-books, some of those things are really cool. So now, rather than keeping the kid in front of the TV, you keep the kid in front of the tablet. Speaking of tablets, the Kindle Fire is on fire. Make no mistake, the iPad's still running away with the tablet market, but whereas they had an 82% market share about this time last year, Apple's iPad is down to 54% market share, and the new number two is indeed the Kindle Fire at 14%. Still a healthy lead there, but it's clear that there are new products that have entered the marketplace that have made a difference. The Fire coming in just at the end of last year. Number three is Samsung. You know, they have the Galaxy product, including the new Galaxy Note, which I'm still not a big fan of. And uh, number four, Barnes & Noble has made a pretty good footprint with their Nook tablet at 7% market share. Or in other words, they're selling about half as many as the Kindle Fire. So those are your four tablet players right now as we sit. And as we sit, let's talk about the president for a moment. Every Friday I go through his re-election odds. We did see quite a bit happen over the course of this week, and there's been a lot of controversy, none the least of which has been on the whole deal regarding health care reform and the the uh, use of contraceptives in the health care plans for uh, many organizations, especially faith-based, that don't want those to be part of the plan. Well, we did see President Obama's overall uh, approval rating reach an all-time high during this election cycle or over the last two years at 50% midweek. However, it did trail off a little bit towards the end of the, end of the week. And as I record this right now, he's at 48.5%. I have to use a whole number. I round those halves up so it goes 49%, which is the same average he had this time last week. What does that compute to? About a 69% chance of the president winning re-election. About the same number he had this time last week. Now, taking a look uh, as we move forward, you're going to continue to see technology become a bigger part of politics. President Obama is doing a first. He was very successful in utilizing uh, technology in 2008, but he's going a step further. He's actually opening a field technology office today in San Francisco to launch all of his campaign online. That means the Twitter, Facebook, everything in social media, even ads, are going to be developed out of a technology office. It's almost like a business uh, that is enveloped in a political campaign. It's kind of a cool thing, actually even if I don't necessarily always agree with the message. That is the cheat sheet for today. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you Monday.